Good afternoon all. Welcome to the session. I am Manjunath from Finance and Accounts, CSEP. Now, uh, today I am going to brief you about the uh, income tax on salary income and know your salary structure and uh, uh, income tax. First, we will brief you about the salary component. What is CTC? CTC is the cost to the company. The cost and the employee incurs to the company on yearly basis. This is cost to the company is the total component of the salary. And this, what is salary? Salary is a form of remuneration paid periodically or monthly by an employer to the employee. The amount and fre frequency of which may be specified in an employment contract. Everybody will serve with the contract which is given by the company. What is gross salary? Gross salary is a component that are paid to an employee without deduction like uh, provided fund, profession tax and income tax. These, these provident fund, profession tax and income tax, those are all statutory. Now, basic salary. Basic, basic salary is a basic pay usually refers to the pay received without taking into the account any additional benefits or bonuses like car, medical allowance, commission, clothing, food and other allowances and any deduction such as tax off. Now we will go to the HRA. HRA means house rent allowance. House rent allowance means allowance given by the employee to his employee to pay the rent of, of the house in which he lives. During the year in which he, he, he has given the services to the employer. Let us go to the exemption of HRA. HRA will be available up to minimum of the following options. There is a slab for HRA calculation. First one is actual rent allowance received from the your employer. It's a HRA given by the employer. It's a mentioned in the salary slip. It's a 40% of the basic. Actual house rent paid by you minus 10% of your basic salary. It means house rent given by the employee to the owner. It will be calculated into 12 months and 10, minus 10% of your basic salary. The third one is 50% of your basic salary if you live in the metro or 40% basic salary if you live in the non-metro. We'll go through the salary breakup. The compensation package will be like gross salary. It's a monthly gross salary or annual CTC. If it is anybody getting annual CTC, total of uh, example 15,44,000 except LTA his uh, monthly gross salary is 1,24,500. LTA or leave travel allowance will be paid end of the year or in between employee can claim the amount. The compensation package contains basic HRA, house rent allowance, conveyance allowance, medical allowance, and special allowance and leave travel allowance. Now we'll go to the exemption. Exemption chapter 6. It contains section 80C, 80CCC and 80CCB. The gross qualifying amount under this section referred to the payment investment under some of the following schemes. The total limit under this section is 150,000. 50, it contains uh, several uh, investments life insurance premium, statutory provident fund or recognized provident fund or public provident fund. The public provident fund is 15 years locking period. It's a voluntary provident fund. And national savings certificates, insurance plan, yearly for uh, life insurance and children education tuition fee and pension, any other pension scheme by government or private banking also. Altogether, 1,50,000 is the maximum investment for tax exemption under Section 80C and 80CCC and 80CCD. Exemption under Chapter 6A, 
it's a section ATD and ATDD and ATE and ATG. The cross gross qualifying amount under this section refers to the payment under some of the following schemes. One is medical insurance premium, health checkup, maximum exemption is 15,000. Medical insurance premium for parents, maximum exemption is 15,000. Medical for handicapped dependents, maximum exemption rupees 50,000. Higher education loan interest payment, there is no limit. It's only interest uh, part. And donation to the approved fund and charities. If it is a non-government uh, uh, charities, it's a 50% allowed in the payment. Example, it's a, if it is a 1,000 rupees, 500 only allowed. If it is a government fund and charity, 100% uh, exemption for Prime Minister Fund and uh, Tsunami Relief Fund, etc. Now, we'll go to the house rent allowance calculation. How it will be calculated? If anybody receiving basic salary, 50,000 per month, if it is annual uh, basic salary, 6 lakh. If it is 40% of his uh, basic salary is 20,000. Again, it's 50,000. 20,000 into 12 months is 2 lakh 40,000. And uh, if uh, anybody pays actual rent, 19,000 example, or annum is into 12 months, 2 lakh 28,000. Now we'll go to the calculation, how it calculated HRA. Actual house rent allowance means HRA received by the employer, 2 lakh 40,000. 40% 40 of the basic salary is also 2 lakh 40,000. There are three calculations for HRA. First is actual house rent allowance, whatever received from the employer, and the second is 40% of basic and rent paid over 10% of salary means total rent paid for annum 19,000 into 12 months 228. So rent paid over 10% of salary 1,68,000 means rent paid 3,60,000 minus 10% of basic salary is 1,8,000. If you minus 10% of basic salary, basic salary of 1 lakh 8,000 in 3 lakh 60,000, it's a 1,68,000. Now taxable house rent allowance is 2 lakh 40,000 house rent allowance minus whichever is low, 1 lakh 68,000. So house rent uh, is uh, 72,000 and house rent allowance exemption is 1 lakh 68. Because rent paid over the 10% of salary minus 10% of basic, 1,68,000 is exemption, 72,000 is the taxable. So next is the medical leave travel and conveyance allowance and interest on housing loan, section 10 and 17. Medical allowance. What is medical allowance? In general, medical allowance exemption up to 15,000 is tax-free. Against, it's a bills and vouchers. It's a given by the employer is per month exemption is 1,250. It's a statutory maximum exemption is 1,250 per month and 15,000 per annum. And leave travel allowance now, LTA. For the purpose of LTA, block year is defined for two years, starting from January to December. For example, 2014 January and 2017 December. In block two years means 2014 uh, and 2015 year is one block and 2016 and 2017 year is one block. In two blocks, LTA can be claimed in two times only. The four years has two blocks. Any two years, LTA can be claimed. Maximum exemption is LTA amount which is pay, paid paid by the employer against the bills. It's only allowed travel, round trip travel, and any supporting travel between the this one uh, round trip. The conveyance allowance, maximum exemption amount is 9,600. 9, it's a 8, 800 per month. 800 per month into 12 months, 9,600 9, per annum. It is statutory exemption per month, 800. 
इंटरेस्ट ऑन हाउसिंग लोन इंटरेस्ट ऑन हाउसिंग लोन मैक्सिमम एग्जामेशन इज टू लैक एंड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द हाउसिंग लोन विल बी कंसिडर्ड इन एटीसी ओनली इट इज मैक्सिमम अलाउड इज वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड now computation of income tax on salary if any anybody's total ctc or gross salary is 15 lakh 44000 they will be exempted as per statutory paid profession tax 200 per month into 12 months is 2400 and the less exemption under section 10 and 17 it's a house house rent medical and conveyance and lta if it is example 2 lakh 12600 total p profession tax and uh, the section 10 and 17 through like 15000 is the uh, exemption gross salary minus uh, exemptions it's a net pt and uh, section 10 and 17 exemption gross salary after uh, deduction is 13 lakh 29000 now let's interest paid on housing loan if it is a 2 lakh maximum limit total gross income is now 11 lakh 29000 now exemption under atc chapter 6 atc atcc and atccd so like ppf lic ulip national savings certificate five year fd and home loan principal and children education fee example 150000 is the maximum so net taxable income now is 979000 these figures are just for example now how uh, this uh, net taxable income will be calculated on Uh, percentage slabs income tax slabs zero to two lakh fifty now uh, direct exemption from the government there is no tax on up to two lakh fifty two lakh fifty to five lakh ten percent and five lakh to ten lakh twenty percent and ten lakh and above thirty percent for example nine lakh seventy nine thousand is the taxable income. Up to two lakh fifty thousand nil minus two lakh fifty from the nine lakh seventy nine balance amount is four lakh seventy nine. So it will cover under two lakh fifty to five lakh uh, tax slab. It's a ten percent of ten percent tax rate. So applicable amount is two lakh fifty again. Twenty five thousand is the tax, and now remaining balance is four lakh seventy nine thousand. Four lakh seventy nine thousand fall under five lakh to ten lakh uh, slab means twenty percent. It's a four lakh seventy nine thousand into twenty percent means ninety five thousand eight hundred. Total tax on income is now thirty thirty percent slab will not fall under this one because two lakh fifty covers and four lakh seventy nine covers in ten percent in twenty percent twenty twenty percent. Total is seven lakh twenty nine percent and exempted primary exempted is two lakh fifty. So tax on income is one lakh twenty thousand eight hundred. Plus education says at three percent on tax on income means one lakh twenty. It's a three thousand six twenty four. Total tax liability is one lakh twenty four four twenty four. Our month liability is ten thousand three sixty nine. Rounded off is ten lakh ten thousand three seventy. So this is the monthly tax on total income. Ten thousand three seventy. Total tax liability is one lakh twenty four four twenty five means one lakh twenty four five hundred rupees. Thank you all. Now question session. Any questions? Please ask. Hello. Hello. Nandina. Yes. Yeah, uh, actually, I have a question. That is it possible that yes. uh, and and uh, anyone can choose that he can pay the tax at the end of the financial year, or it is is it mandatory that every month he has to pay? Tell me again. Every month, one has to pay the tax, or is it uh, possible that? one can choose to pay at the end of the financial year on the day no as per the income tax department for salary person will be deducted every month and have to pay before 7th of every month next month it's a statutory thing okay. statutory deduction and payment for salary person
anybody? Yeah. Uh, hi, Arushi. Yeah, Arushi. Yeah, so uh, that means every month a salaried person with the example that you gave um, is paying a tax of 10,370 to the IT department. Yes. Okay. Whatever we deducted every month, we need to pay yeah. before 7th of next month. Before 7th of next month. And every, every quarter, means 3 months after 3 months, next hmm. month before 15th, we need to remit the ETDS to the government okay. and it will after up to three months it will show in your 26 years 26 years is a uh, online uh, tax deduction uh, details uh, you can see the tax deduction details in 26 years on your plan okay not only the salary any deduction hmm. again as the plan it will show in 26 years you can see in the income tax department uh, online if you registered through your okay. CAN number. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Manju. Any more questions? Yes. Hello. Other than LIC and DGC. Okay. Any other tax saving methods? NSC and LIC. It's a wallet. Uh, yeah, PF and then VTF. Okay. Okay. No, other than what you have listed, no, other than that. Other than that, uh, I, there is no this one. There are so many tax savings is there. Hello. Hello. Mutual fund is uh, non-taxable. Yes, mutual fund is there. Now, <laughs> mutual fund. No, no, no. There is a, earlier there is a uh, exemption for twenty thousand for mutual fund additional. Okay. Now it's waived off. Okay, thank you, Manila. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, tell me now. This is Jay here. This is Jay here. Oh, Dr. Jay. A <laughs> uh, question for you. Uh, if, if, what is a good, I mean, what, what is a good strategy? Suppose if you have other investments and you need to pay more tax than what is being deducted, is it better to pay it during the course of the year, or is it better to pay it at that uh, when is that March deadline? That date? What is that date? There's some date, no? Uh, I, I, Suppose uh, you've got an FP or something. Uh, okay. Yeah. And you have to pay tax on that, right? They will deduct only 10%. So you have to you have to take back. So you'll have to pay more. Like suppose if your tax rate is at about 20%, then you have to pay that additional 10%, right? Yes. So when is a good time that, to pay that? Actually, you have to pay advance tax for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when is that advance tax date? Advance tax uh, before October. Before October. Okay. For this one, for salaries and uh, other, uh, uh, like uh, some other investments, uh, no use paying advance tax actually. You can okay. calculate in February or March and you can pay. Okay. February, March, you can the pay. salary. Okay. Yeah, you, you, after March also you can pay. Mm -hmm. After March you will come to know exact amount. Right. So you can pay through online and you can file return, file the return immediately. Okay. That would be better actually. Okay. Thank you. So, thanks for joining the session. Thank you, everybody. Is uh, if you people have any queries, please mail to me, and I'll share the this computation uh, tax uh, sheet 
it helps you to go through the details.